Shy Guy ASMR here, and today I would like to excitingly show you all my photography. Now, yes, I still use Yahoo's Flickr in the year of our Lord 2023, but I'm old school, all right? Um, and I am not a professional photographer, but I love to pull out my camera and take photographs when I travel uh, locally uh, and what have you, all right? So I'm going to go through some of my pictures, and hopefully you all find this relaxing. And if you're on Flickr, go ahead and give me a follow. I have my uh, the link in my, uh, not the, well, I have it in the description, but it's also in my About section on my page, all right? So I'll just go through my camera roll. Um, going through some of my latest pictures going back uh, to last year. Uh, it's a picture I took. This is the only picture I snapped this year. It's winter time in Chicago and uh, a local neighborhood. Took this photograph, tried to get the falling snow. Uh, edit this picture a little bit. Usually I don't like to edit my photos a little too much. I think I just turned the contrast up here. But uh, I really wanted to capture that falling snow, uh, and to do so, I had to, you know, kind of play with the uh, the light there. But you know, winter in Chicago. Uh, and here's a here's some pictures I took with my iPhone 13, and uh, they had the uh, Christmas train here in Chicago. So uh, you know, just wanted to just take some pictures with my iPhone. Usually I have an icon, and usually I like to take that, but. Uh, the iPhone can also do the trick and also, you know, sometimes uh, taking pictures with your phone kind of helps you become a better photographer because you're limited on what the uh, phone can do. Now, I also, uh, here's a picture I took, uh, let's see, five months ago, I uh, drove to Canada. So this is the uh, Windsor uh, side of the Detroit River, this is Windsor, Ontario, and I feel like some of the best pictures I take are the ones where I have to snap it real quick. I saw this guy 
square, but um, yeah, I think the pastel colors of the buildings, uh, as well as the uh, the color, uh, particularly pink, is kind of a theme here. Everything from the bags, and uh, it's a lot of pink, a lot of pink shirts. So I think I played with the uh, the color grading on this photo, but uh, it was a hot day in Italy. Uh, I like the uh, the depth of field on this one. This was in the museum in which I took that last picture from where there was an exhibit on Gucci, a Gucci exhibit. It was called Gucci Gardens and there was this beautiful like a uh, room that had a uh, mirrored floor so and, and in that casing they had the uh, uh, a collection of Gucci shoes and the lady in the background here blurred out and this is in that same room. This is a self-portrait of me taking a picture of myself on the floor so you can get that that uh, mirrored effect so this unique mirrored effect you know, how many times do you see a mirrored floor so yeah, I love this this photo here and this is another picture in Florence uh, this is a well-known spot and I got this beautiful landscape of, uh, of Florence the river as well as the uh, the museums and the towers and I love those uh, mid-sized European cities. I'm a big fan of, you know, not the Romes and the, and the Milans and the Parises, but those secondary cities. I just live for those. Those are beautiful to explore and take photographs of. There's a couple I photographed from, I was, you know, I was on top of a hill and took a picture of them. This is a picture I took of a couple. Uh, I, I saw them walking towards tried to get a picture of them discreetly of them holding hands from the front but I, I couldn't really do it discreetly so I was filming with my camera and as soon as they walked past I took a picture of them from the back and I, uh, yeah, I you know I wanted to take that picture of them and I thought that was a just a beautiful beautiful couple um, that's in Florence this is a uh, I like candid shots, pictures of people uh, posed that don't know that I'm taking photographs of them. And uh, I think I used the uh, 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 prime lens here, so that's uh, I'm as close as this photograph shows. And uh, pretty good depth of field there. It's an old Fiat in Florence. A little red Fiat. Uh, it's a picture, of, uh, a picture I took of a guy. Um, I like this photograph, but my subject there uh, is a little distracted by all the other things going on in the picture. But I love the pose that the guy made, and I knew I wanted to take a picture of that. Could I had a better composition of it? I think so, maybe. But I'm glad I snapped it. This is a favorite of mine. This is also in Florence. I uh, you know, saw this uh, couple walking, and uh, this is actually a picture of them mirrored a reflection image. So they're walking, and that's a reflection of them uh, from the street. Um, played around with the uh, lighting a bit, but just love that kind of uh, artsy, kind of artsy shot. shot. This is a picture. What is the name of this bridge? I cannot remember the name of this bridge. One of the most famous bridges in uh, in Florence. And um, yeah, this is a, another Florence picture. This is another picture uh, of the on that previous bridge. A guy selling selfie sticks. And uh, a lot going on in terms of color. So I hit it with the black and white. And uh, it was a hot day. You could see the sweat on his face. there and uh, it's a picture of uh, a lady I was with in Rome and by, or she was in front of one of the many uh, fountains that are in Rome Rome is so romantic and picturesque uh, this is a, another candid shot of a lady I saw taking a selfie 
is, is I think there was a light bulb out. So it was dark in one area, but the, the, sun, the sun, you can see lighting the other, the, the background, if you will, or parts of the picture. So I definitely played with the lighting here. Um, I like the way this photograph came out. Very colorful, greasy, or at least the uh, Zagathos is. And here's another picture of the town center of Zagathos. Self-portrait. 
this picture with my iPhone. This is a nightclub called, well, I don't know what the nightclub is called, but you see the uh, Guilty. Just so many colorful outfits. I love her. Loved her outfit and the composition of her just walking into that dark um, building or entryway. This is also in Manchester, a street performer. Portrait I took of him. I had to get all up and close and personal because this was my prime lens, but it's caught him in the act of performing. I remember he was performing Michael Jackson and, and, and George Michael. Um, I think it was an American guy. This is back in uh, Manchester as well. Portrait of a, of a guy I just took uh, behind him. Let's see the busy street in the uh, background. Oh, here's a couple I took. Okay, so here's a story behind this picture is I saw her. And I was feeling myself at that moment. I was just saw, I was just admiring her beauty and I know I wanted to take a picture of her. Sometimes that's how I start conversations with people. So she was by herself. At least I thought she was. Struck up a conversation with her and asked to take her photograph. And her boyfriend popped up out of nowhere, so I kinda of played it off. I was like, how can I take a picture of you both? And he kinda of, they both smiled. And uh, just took a picture of him, so this came out. Love, a lovely street um, uh, portrait. And uh, you know, loved her, loved her sunglasses. So a lot of interracial couples in England. A lot of that. So this is a snapshot of that. Oh, and this is a Dachshund. Uh, Dachshund. Yeah, I forgot what the little hot dog dogs, wiener dogs. I was out with some friends and uh, took a portrait of his dog. Love taking pictures of dogs. This is in uh, Liverpool, rainy Liverpool. It's another Liverpool shot. This is in the evening time. Liverpool as well. Liverpool docks. This is uh, another famous building in Liverpool. Liverpool again. What? It's the docks of Liverpool. 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 Where the Beatles are from. And this is up in the Lake District National Park in England. I took this with my iPhone. iPhones can take really great landscape photos. Probably one of my best pictures. Just taken, just pulled out my iPhone. The scenery speak for itself. I could have took, like any camera would have took a beautiful picture because the scenery itself was beautiful. The mountains and the clouds and the greenery. Love the Lake District. This is uh, one of these small towns in that area. It's a waterfall in the Lake District. I think it's Ambleside is the, the official name of that little town, but just stereotypical quaint English village. There's a whole couple just sitting and relaxing, enjoying nature in the beautiful Lake District. This is this is what this is my goal. Just a lawn chair and nature.
this picture of me. I just wish somebody, the person who told, took that picture, the friend in the last picture would have told me that my jacket, fixed my jacket sleeve. Other than that, that is me. And this is a picture I took of uh, my friend in, I forgot the name of this museum. Did I put it down? Yeah, the Serpentine. Los Angeles. 